It's impossible to keep everyone happy, and Carnival Cruise Line's latest controversy proves just that. Passengers are upset about the rising price of bottled water on board. Brand Ambassador John Heald addressed the issue in a recent Facebook video, explaining that many cruisers have voiced their frustration over the cost of bottled water. Currently, guests can pre-order a 12-pack of bottled water for $17.64 to be delivered to their staterooms before embarkation. That breaks down to $1.47 per bottle, a price that has been raised four times in the past two years. Originally, back when the 12-pack was introduced, it was only $4.95, just 42 cents per bottle. However, John Heald defended the pricing in his video, pointing out that Carnival still offers one of the best deals in the travel industry, especially compared to airports or resorts. We've had a lot of discussion about water prices, John Heald said, but at just over a dollar per bottle, it's still one of the most affordable options in the industry. It's a great deal. Here's the clip. So this is brunch and um, it's, what time is it? Nine o'clock. And we've been talking a lot about water with people being rather, uh, well, I guess, adamant that we charge too much for bottled water. Well, it's just over a dollar a bottle. It's the most affordable in the industry and compared to airports, resorts, etc it's still a great affordable deal. Some of the frustration may stem from Carnival's 2015 policy change, which no longer allows passengers to bring their own plastic water bottles on board. One Facebook user didn't hold back. You've got a short memory. When you stopped letting us bring water, you promised it would remain affordable to buy on the ship. What happened? This is not affordable at all, currently. Guests can only bring a small number of non-alcoholic beverages on board, up to 12 sealed cans or cartons of soda, energy drinks, milk, or juice. Plastic containers are banned entirely. Of course, passengers aren't required to buy bottled water. As John Heal demonstrated in his video, the ship water, available for free at beverage stations and with meals, is a perfectly viable alternative. But you don't need it because, like me, you can drink ship water. Which I'm about to do now. Thank you very much, oh, Billy. Welcome. Many cruisers bring refillable bottles or hydro flasks and fill up at the stations, but some people still prefer bottled water for personal reasons. I find the ship's water makes me swell up, one Facebook commenter explained. I have to drink bottled. Another added, I'm sorry, but I can't handle the taste of ship water. Maybe it's changed, but it was pretty bad when I last cruised. For those who prefer bottled water without purchasing the 12-pack, Drink Package offers an alternative. Starting at $70.74 per person per day, the package allows guests to enjoy up to 15 drinks a day, including bottled water, alcoholic beverages, soda, energy drinks, and specialty coffee. Whatever your choice for staying hydrated, it's important not to cut corners. Earlier this year, a TikTok user was banned from Carnival Cruises after posting a video of herself refilling and resealing water bottles to avoid paying for them. So, what's your take on Carnival's bottled water prices? Let me know in the comments, and stay safe on your next cruise.